Hello, middle school math teacher. I recently had a member from the pre-algebra teachers math membership ask me if I had a good strategy on how I teach one step equations to my students because her students were not getting it and were getting super confused. So I wanted to create a video to show you exactly how I teach one step equations to my students. If we don't already know each other, my name is Kathy Martin and I'm the creator of the Pre-Algebra Teachers Middle School Math Membership, your one-stop shop for everything you need to teach 6th, 7th, 8th grade and Algebra 1 math. So let's dive in to this one-step equation um, strategy on exactly what I do. I just wanna show you, it's really, really easy and it really helps my students fully understand what to do. Um, and I'm gonna show you how I teach one of equations with adding and subtracting, and then I'll give you an example of what I do for multiplying and dividing because they are very, very similar. So I'm just gonna make up an example here. Um, let's just say x plus seven equals 12, okay? This is a pretty standard equation that your students might see. And I have seen, you know, teachers typically say like, okay, so we, our whole goal is to, you know, uh, single out the variable. So we're going to subtract seven of both sides, and then it's going to look like this X minus seven equals five, right? Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Yeah. Okay. So the way that I teach this is very similar, except I just, I add one little thing. Okay. Um, so we're going to take the same exact problem, x plus 7 equals 12. Okay, the thing that I tell my students to do is, come on, is to what I call T chart, okay, as in the letter T, and then a chart as in like a graph. <laughs> it's not really a graph though. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to draw, it's basically an upside down T. You're gonna draw a line through the equal sign and then make a upside down T like this. And in theory, the equal sign is like to remind you to bring down the equal sign like this, okay? You don't even need to make these little like arrows, but I usually just do a T like this. Then I tell my students, okay, we have to get the variable by itself. So what is in the way? Like what is in the way of this variable really just being by itself? So the answer in this case is the seven, right? So I asked my students, okay, if the whole goal is to get the X by itself, what is in the way? The seven, right? So we have to do the opposite of seven, which is minus seven. And whatever I do to this side of this wall, I must do to the other. Seven minus seven is zero. So what I'm left with is X equals 12 minus seven is five. Okay, so we can do another example. Um, let's see, uh, let's do X, um, minus three equals negative 10. Okay, so we're gonna do the same exact thing. We're gonna T chart. And I'm gonna ask my students, okay, what is in the way of the X? Hmm, negative three, okay, so what's the opposite of negative three? Positive three, whatever I do to one side of the wall, I must do to the other. Negative three plus three, equals a zero, so I'm left with x equals negative 10 plus three, which is seven. Okay, so if you're like, all right, that sounds great, how does it work for multiplying and dividing? All right, so let's do seven x equals negative 42, okay? So this is a multiplication problem, right? We're gonna do the same exact thing, we're gonna t-chart, so now knowing that I have a multiplication problem here, my goal is still to get the X by itself. So what is in the way? The seven and what's happening with the seven and the X, they're being multiplied. So the reciprocal, it would be divide. So whatever I do to one side, subdividing by this side, I must divide by this side. Seven divided by seven is a one, right? So I'm left with one X equals negative 42 divided by seven is negative six. 
And you can do the same exact thing with a division problem. So if you add x divided by, say, negative 2 equals 6, we are going to do the same thing. We're going to t-chart, okay? What is the reciprocal of divide? Well, it's going to be multiply, right? So we're going to multiply both sides by negative 2 because whatever we do to one side, we must do to the other. Negative 2 divided by 2 is a 1x, and then 6 times negative 2 is negative 12. So all you have to do is really show your students this t-charting method. And I want to show you a few of my favorite types of resources to use when you're teaching this. So I'm just going to log right into the pre-algebra teachers math membership here. And I am going to go down into the equations area. And what I want to show you is first off, when I'm done teaching this, I, I prefer my students to practice, right? So I'm going to grab the set of practice problems here. There are 25 on this page. I'm probably not going to have them do all 25. Um, I And there's answer key for you as well. I'm probably going to have them do either like 1 through 10 or maybe like do odds or evens. Like I'm probably not going to have them do all 25, like on the day I teach it. The other activity that I love to show you is another activity that I love to use are task cards. So I'm going to grab these solving equations by multiplying and dividing task cards. They look like this. Um, and this is perfect for either small group stations or I could just, or pro what I'll probably end up doing is assigning, um, giving each of my students a set of task cards to do for homework. The final activity that I want to show you is this, which is one of my absolute favorites. It's a mystery puzzle. So it says solve uh, the given equation, solve the given equation, write the value of the variable inside the box. If your answer is correct, the puzzle piece will appear in the green box. Okay, so here's how it works. You have m plus 12 equals 17. So we're going to, you know, I might have my students work it out, work out, show me their work on a separate sheet of paper. Um, or if they just know the answer, they can plug it in and the answer would be five. So if the answer is correct, you can see, ooh, a piece of the puzzle has appeared. Same thing with the next one, y minus 10 equals negative three. So I believe the answer is gonna be seven. Another piece of the puzzle has appeared. When your students have completed all of the questions, this whole picture will appear and they'll be able to see what the mystery picture is. And there you have it. That is exactly how I teach one sub equations, whether or not you are teaching um, adding and subtracting or multiplying and dividing. What do you think of this strategy, this t-charting strategy? It is the only way I have taught it for the last, I don't know, 10 plus years. And it seems to work and my students don't really have any issues at all. I'm excited for you to try it. If you want to grab these free resources, use the link in the description box below to grab these so you can start using them in your classroom today. Until next time, bye for now.